Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to another Plenty video. Thank you so much for joining me. This one is very exciting actually because I'm gonna be doing an import unboxing and I have never done an import unboxing in the history of this channel ever, which is kind of crazy because I've been on plant YouTube for a few years now. I have imported plants once before, but it did not go well. It was during a heat wave and that video did not see the light of day. So that was a few years ago. Um, so today I'm hoping it's gonna go a little bit better. I'm also currently racing daylight here, but these plants need to be opened right now because they have been in transit for 20 days, my friends. Yes, 20 days. So I honestly have no idea what to expect when we open this. Um, yeah. We're gonna find out together. These plants came to me all the way from Indonesia from a nursery called Green Spaces, which I'd heard of before. I've seen other people order from them. So it was, the company's a little bit familiar to me and they reached out and asked if I wanted plants. And my first thought was, I have so many plants, like I don't need more plants. But then I hopped on their website and they have some really freaking cool plants on there. So then I was like, okay, yes. <laughs> I mean, who's gonna say no to that? So yeah, these plants were gifted to me and I'm just gonna be documenting the unboxing. Um, and then I'll probably follow up with how I acclimate them. I'm very unexperienced when it comes to imports, so I thought it would also just be like, I don't know, a fun thing to, a fun thing to try my hand at. So without further ado, I'm just going to crack into here. There's all the documentation here that you need. Now, if you live in the US, I feel like importing is, um, a more accessible option than if you're in Canada because I don't think you need an import permit to import like a certain amount of plants to the US, but you do in Canada, um, which it's not hard to get and they're not super expensive or anything. It's just an extra step that you need to do. I know people in Canada still import plants all the time, but it's definitely something to kind of keep in mind. All right, here they are. This is a lot smaller than I expected. How many plants? Like they really get them like flat. <laughs> I'm like, what? There's like six plants here. One, two, three, four. Maybe there's only five. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six plants here and this is so compact. All right, and then there's just paper. So I picked out four of these plants and then they picked out two of them. And I feel like I picked a really cool variety. So I'm excited to show you guys and I'm excited to um, grow them out. Hopefully they're okay. I don't know what kind of state these are gonna be in after their journeys. I don't think that, um, oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Uh, I'm excited to see it. I don't think that things are normally in transit for as long as they were um, to reach me. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one. I feel like this is a good, a good first starter plant. I am actually quite excited about this one. Um, one of my friends has one of these and I love it. So hopefully this guy's gonna be okay. Oh, so I can just... Oh my goodness. Oh, he's kind of yellow, but I can still tell that he's so cute. Oh my goodness, and a new leaf has been trying to unfurl. Oh, I hope that the roots or the at least the nodes are healthy because I really wanna grow this out. So this is a Monstera Adansonii Indonesian Mint. Is that what it's called? Or Indonesia? Yeah, the variegated Indonesia, Indonesian um, variant, variety. <laughs> it's actually really pretty. Like you can see the variegation, how stunning that is. But yeah, he is, he is looking a little yellow. This poor guy, look at the new leaf trying to come in. Oh my, my. If you've been watching for a little while, then you might know that I have been wanting a variegated Monstera Adansonii. I had one of the Albo versions and it completely reverted. It just kept going all white. I cut it up. All of the cuttings kept going all white. 
Um, so I've been in the market for another one of those. But then when I saw the Indonesia one with this more kind of like mottled or like minty variegation, I thought that that might be a better option for me. Um, I mean, I would still love to have the Abo one, but these are pretty. Like I said, I have a friend who has one and I, I just think that they're so gorgeous. I'm really, really hoping that this one is gonna be okay. I'll take a look at the roots at the end um, and show you guys. I just wanna get them all unpackaged first. But I'm not, I mean, I would expect it to look worse, honestly, after its journey. Okay, so two of these, the two that they picked, I do already have, but they're plants that I like. So we're still gonna, this one is actually one of my favorites. So this is going to be not only a double in my collection, but a triple <laughs> in my collection. Um, and I don't have many doubles. So the fact that I already have two of them, you know, says that I really like it. So I'm kind of excited to have another one into my collection because you never know, like there's variance between plants and different genetics. And um, I'll be curious to just grow it out and see what it looks like in comparison to the one that I have. And that is, oh my goodness, little cutie pie. It actually doesn't look too bad. It actually doesn't look too bad, you guys. It does have a spider web on it though, and that makes me kind of nervous because I am scared of spiders. That's creeping me out. You know how scary spiders can come on like banana bunches and stuff sometimes? <laughs> That's what's in my brain right now. Okay, well this is what it looks like. If you can see, it actually has really pretty leaves. Like really, really pretty minty, ghosty leaves. Look at that. That is so cute. And lots of leaves on it too. Um, some of them look damaged, like this one. In the middle. Oh, you can kind of see it peeking out there. Do you see that? I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there are a couple that look kind of, oh God. <laughs> That's okay, the leaf just came off, it is okay. Yeah, that's really the only like super damaged leaf on here. There's one more that looks like it's gonna need to come off as well, but that's it. Like it looks surprisingly healthy. I am pretty darn impressed with that one. I love me a Florida ghost. That's honestly a classic, like a staple in my collection, in my philodendron collection. They're just so, so pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to grow that one out too. Okay, I'm gonna open a bit of a fun one that I picked. I really don't know too much about this plant. I do have um, one other of this genus, I guess, that I really love. And this one has actually been recommended by one of you in my comments. So when I saw that Green Spaces had it, I was like, Okay, sign me up. I've never seen it around like for sale where I am. So um, I thought it was really cool that they, that they had it available. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It looks so good. I can't believe how good these plants look. Like, I am kind of shocked. Look at this guy. This is Piper Silvicotum. Yeah, so it's like a beautiful silvery Piper. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous is that? The leaves look so good. I'm honestly, I'm shocked at how good these are looking so far. I thought that we were going to be, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I was not expecting this, this good of an outcome, to be honest with you. This is a much better experience than my last import went. I mean, we'll see what happens. It's very common that imports look good on arrival and then you kind of go through the rehabbing process and they can go through a phase where they look worse. <laughs> so we'll see, but wow, this is just so, so cool. So I have the Piper Crocodum, I believe and um i've just been loving it lately so yeah and one of y'all commented because you know i love silver plants so i saw a comment that suggested the piper silvicotum to me and i'd never even heard of it before i had to look it up and i never really see them around um at least where i shop for plants like online or even in store so 
yeah, I had to grab this one because how fun and how perfect for me as a silver plant lover and also someone wanting to just experiment with more different types of plants. And I only have one piper, so I'm excited to add that one into my collection. And then, okay, let's do this one. Actually, let's do, should I save the best for last or should I, okay, I'm going to do this one. This one I'm quite excited for. Whenever I see these, I always am admiring them, but I've just never, never had one before. And it is a philodendron and it is variegated. So I'm really excited to see what this is gonna look like. Hopefully it traveled well. <gasps> no way this is stunning stop it are you kidding me oh my goodness i was not expecting a plant this beautiful This is way better than what I expected and it, it looks amazing. Are you kidding me? So this is Philodendron Domesticum, is that it? Domesticum Variegated. This is a plant that I've just, I don't know, I've seen it popping up this year and it's always been one that when I see photos of it and stuff, I'm like, wow, it's so beautiful. But I just never really come across one in my budget, I guess. But oh my goodness, this, the variegation on this one is insane. Are you kidding me? Like, it is so, so pretty. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited about this one. And you know what? This might even fulfill my urge to get a Jose Buono because that's been on my wish list for a while. And it's mostly because I just wanted a white variegated philodendron. But this, like, this is like pretty much it. Like, this is similar enough that I don't know if I need both of them. So we'll see how this does, but I'm very, very impressed with this. I'm really excited about this and I'm really excited about the um, variegated Adansonii as well. I can't wait. I can't wait to see how those do. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna save probably the most exciting one for last. Um, let's do this one. This is another one that I already have, but I am curious to have another one because this is another variegated philodendron. But this one always reverts on me. <laughs> and you might know which one I'm talking about, but it kind of drives me crazy because it literally always reverts. I've had a couple of them in the past, so I'm always keen to try another one and see if I can just get a nicely variegated one. So we'll see how this one goes for me. Oh my goodness. This looks good too, what the heck? I'm honestly kind of shocked that these traveled just like as well as they did, like what? The leaves are like firm on all of them, like they're not floppy. I'm so surprised, I'm so surprised. This is really pretty, really, really pretty. Mine, um, the one that I have right now, is kind of a plant that I always like half consider getting rid of because like I said, they can tend to, to revert and stuff, but then I see other people have like a beautiful variegated version and it makes me just keep trying. So <laughs> I'm really curious to see how this one grows out because the variegation on them is just so stunning. The leaf shape is so stunning. It's such an easy going plant and they put out a million growth points and just grow like crazy. Like if you want an easy variegated philodendron, in my experience, this one is very easy if you can get one that's not gonna revert on you. Look at that. That is so, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, my battery died, but yeah, so far I'm really, really impressed. And I think that the one that is looking the roughest so far is the um, Variegated Adansonii. And that could also be because it's the like lightest colored one. Do you know what I mean? Like with, like with the variegation, so. I don't know, maybe the yellow like shows up more. I mean, it has like these leaves are yellow, but the top, 
The two leaves at the top don't look bad. I really hope it recovers. Okay, moving on to the last plant. Like I said, this is the one that I um, am the most excited about probably. It's different than other plants that I have in my collection and it's one that I'm noticing pop up more and more, but it's still not very common in people's collection. So um, I'm just really excited to have it in mine and I'm so curious to see what this is looking like. So let's just open it up. Let's cross our fingers because I think that I'm really gonna like this plant. Let's cross our fingers that it does well. This is a variegated Syngonium Chia Pence, which like I said, I feel like is kind of a plant that's on the rise in popularity, I suppose. Um, not a ton of people have them. And every time I see a photo, I'm just like, wow, the variegation on these is crazy. And I was really keen to try this one out because I haven't had any like of the larger heart leaf um, types of Syngonium. And I've always wanted the Syngonium Frosted Heart, never had one. Um, I've always heard people recommend the Chia Pens, but I've never had one. Um, so now, of course, <laughs> I'm so sucked in by this variegation. Look at the mint. Oh, like this is absolutely dreamy. I am not gonna stop staring at this leaf. Oh my gosh. This is, it has three leaves. This is the second one. I love just like the different splotching of like the different shades of greens and whites. It's so pretty. And this is the third one, which is obviously a little bit damaged. Looks like maybe a little bit cold damaged or, you know, just not looking too hot. But um, the stem looks like it has really nice variegation on it. So that's good. You can see it's nice and stripey. I don't know how well you'll be able to see, let's see on the camera, but um, wow. I was not expecting it to be this pretty. Like all those different shades. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. I feel so lucky to have this plant and I'm so excited to try to grow it out. Importing plants definitely comes with its cons. Um, you do have to go through the rehab process. It can be a little bit more work, but it is nice to be able to access these different types of plants that perhaps aren't as available where, where we are in this part of the world right now. So I am really grateful to have these. I'm willing to put in the work to rehab them. And yeah, I guess we're just gonna see how it goes. I wish that they hadn't been in transit for quite so long, but it is what it is and that's just kind of a risk when it comes to shipping anything really but especially from overseas so yeah that is just a real honest look at unboxing these plants that came from indonesia and um like i said i don't have a lot of rehabbing experience so we'll navigate this together i suppose um i'm gonna go unwrap all of the roots and take a look at those and i really really hope that they're looking okay
Okay, y'all, so this is the situation. I basically just took them all and trimmed off any roots that looked rotted or just unhealthy and then popped them into water with a couple of drops of Super Thrive to help mitigate any shock and also promote new root growth. So they're all just in Starbucks cups here. Um, I also washed the spider web off of that one. <laughs> but um, the only one that I had to completely cut the roots off of was the Piper. They just all look dead. So I cut them off and hopefully it'll just reroot for me. It looks really healthy um, despite having dead roots. So I think that it'll hopefully just root up for me. Um, and I'm actually going to be rehabbing them in a bin that I just got from downstairs. So I think I'm going to set them up. Um, in a bin just to increase the humidity. It's not going to be like a you know 100% humidity or anything because this isn't sealed but it'll boost their humidity and I'm also going to set them up with a grow light. I have no idea where I'm going to put this honestly probably beside my bed because there's just really not many other spaces for it. But yeah I need to wash this out and get them all set up and then I'll show you their like final setup situation. Okay y'all, so this is the setup, <laughs> the little box beside my bed with the grow light attached on there. I'm probably going to leave them in here for 7 to 10 days and then I'll move them out and just acclimate them to my home. But yeah, I think that this is going to work fine and I kind of like that this is frosted because I didn't want them to be just scorched with light right off the bat because they've been in a box for so long, I feel like that could be a little jarring. So um, it's a little bit more ambient. I mean, they're still getting bright light in there. But yeah, I feel like this is a good setup for them. So they're gonna stay in there for a little while longer and then I will update you guys on their journey after I move them out of the box. Oh, and I do have two that aren't in the box. I kept out the Florida Ghost and the Burl Marks variegated because well, first of all, it was really cramped, but second of all, I know that both of those plants are really tough, so I think that they can handle it. And third, I'm just curious, like, I feel like it'll be an interesting experiment to see how those ones do, just going straight from the import box to room humidity. So, yeah, I'm really interested to, to find out how they're going to do. Okay, so we're going to do just, I guess, a mini update. I've had these plants for three days now. And I'm just finishing editing the video, so I figured I would add on this little three-day update. So I've had um, these. Here, let me try to open this. I apologize, the lighting probably isn't going to be great either. Yeah, I haven't looked at the roots or anything yet. I mean, it's only been three days, so it's probably not too much happening. But just an overview of what they're looking like. They look relatively the same, which I'm taking as a good sign. Actually, this one, this philodendron domesticum, is popping out a new leaf, which is kind of crazy, like, okay. Um, let's take a look at the roots here. I mean, they're probably just gonna look the same. Yeah, they look the same, they look fine, I guess. The Syngonium Chiapense, again, looks the same. And the roots look the same. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Our lighting is going. The Piper. Let's take a look at that one. So the leaves are still looking okay. They look maybe a little droopier and I'm just going to watch and wait for some root growth to come in. Yeah, the leaves feel a little like thin and just not super happy. Yeah, it's definitely drooping now. So let's keep our fingers crossed for that one. These ones, like this one still feels pretty thick. This one, oh, this one is like really thick. The Monstera adinsonii. This is what it looks like. That leaf that was trying to unfurl is still kind of trying to unfurl. The roots. I had like one big root. Yeah, so not too much. Oh, there's a 
leaf that needs to be removed from this one. It's just going to rot in there, so I just removed that one. So I'm going to put these back. The first two days I had the lid completely closed and um, for today and for the rest of the week I'm just going to leave it kind of propped open a little bit because first of all the leaves were like pressed against it and I don't like that like I don't want the white to just start browning on me if it's getting if it's in contact with the the bin and like getting the built up moisture on it I don't want that and I also just I don't want these to be living in high humidity so I just want to gradually get them used to lower humidity so I've just been kind of keeping the lid like um just like well, I've just been fiddling with it until it kind of catches. Oh my gosh, of course it's not gonna work now. I don't know. <laughs> I'm winging it, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna show you the two that I have not been keeping in the bin. They actually look surprisingly good. Variegated burl marks. I mean, it's a bit droopy, to be honest. And yeah, the leaves feel a little sad, but overall not bad. I think it's gonna be fine. Honestly, I do. There's a new leaf coming in on this one too, right there. So yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. And the Florida Ghost, I should feel the leaves. I feel like how the leaves feel is a really good indication of a plant's health. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else does that, but yeah, these ones actually feel nice and plump. More rigid than the bro marks, so. Yeah, it looks really good. New growth coming in there too. So that's a really great sign. The roots, what is that? The lighting is so weird here, it's hard to see anything, but um, yeah, I don't know. Not bad, honestly. Okay, y'all, that is all I have for you for today's video. Let me know if you want to see an update on this import order. I'm really curious of how, how the journey is going to go. I'm kind of nervous because, yeah, there are some plants that, some of these plants I really, really want to make it. Um, but I have a good feeling. I think it's going to be okay. Thank you to Green Spaces for sending over these plants. I'm so happy to have them in my collection. I'll have all of their information linked down below in the description box and they actually have sent me a discount code as well. So I'll include that down there if you're interested in placing an order with them. Other than that, hope that y'all are well. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.